If you rely on real estate agents or real estate brokers to find you all of your deals, you're just doing it wrong. You're not in the business. Now, and, we're, and I'll cover in just a minute a little bit more about that. But here's kind of how real estate brokers work, right? Do you think that if you make contact with a real estate broker that they're going to necessarily, they find a smoking hot deal like Bob's house that I was just talking about. You can buy a house in North Hollywood for 150. Do you think they're going to call you first and say, Hey, guess what I found? Of course not. They've got their own ideas. They've got their own friends, family, and all these kinds of things that they're going to call first. And typically how real estate brokers work, and I don't care if you're in single family, multifamily, commercial land, whatever, the real estate broker is going to do a lot of the things that we're talking about today to find new properties to list. So we're going to, if you know, if you're, if your sole aim from this program is just to learn how to go list properties, you'll get a ton of value out of this. You're going to find out how to find tons of people that just want to sell their house, right? If you rely on them to bring you their best deals, you're going to be in a, in a really bad, bad place because the first thing they're going to do when they find a great deal is they're going to probably tell their inner circle, right? Their, their friends, their close friend, their buddy who's an investor, maybe somebody who's already promised to cut them in a deal, or maybe somebody who's been their best buyer who's bought a ton of properties from them. And then they'll go out to, uh, if that circle of friends doesn't actually take the deal right away, they might go out to the next circle of influence, which is uh, probably their inside real estate agent friends. Hey, once I have this great deal, why don't you tell your close circle, let's keep this, you know, in the family. And then if it still doesn't sell, right? What's their next step? Then they're going to go to their in-house brokerage, just in their, in their brokerage family and try to sell it in-house because smart brokers uh, reward the agents that keep those in-house double-sided transactions and things like that. And then if it still doesn't sell, which means it probably wasn't that great a deal to begin with, right? Then they might put it on the public market, the MLS, on CoStar, on some of these other, you know, LoopNet, places that kind of go out to the general public and solicit this property, um, for sale. And so if you're getting stuff from a real estate agent, you're at least somewhere on that on that chain of buyers potentially, right?